Hi, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today we're going to talk a little bit about a Photoshop problem. Um, this is something I ran into today and it about drove me crazy. So this is something that happens when your cursor size is not the same as your brush size. Here's what it should look like and here's what it sometimes will look like. It could also be that whatever is being drawn is um, a little smaller than your actual brush size. So we're gonna go over a few ways to troubleshoot this. First off, and this is the most common, you will have the caps lock button on. So when you have it on, it is this exact um, target look, but if you just click that off, it goes back to being the actual size of your brush. So if we draw now, we can see that it's the actual size. The second thing that might be causing the problem is your settings in your system preferences might be a little messed up. So let's go in there and see what the problem is. Okay, now once you're in here, you will go to accessibility and then display. So once you're in display, your cursor size should be normal. Sometimes it can be up a little bit and if it is, um, that can cause an issue. Um, you can see now that my cursor is a little bit bigger and it does interact kind of strangely. See how small the brush size is, even though it looks like it should be really big. So if you fix this, if you go back into system preferences and put it back down to normal, that solves the problem. The third thing that you can do to try to fix this problem is to reset the brush tool. And to do that, you can go in here and then go to this little gear up here and then say reset brushes. So we'll do that. Okay. And I actually did not have a problem at this point. This is just something that might work for you if you're, if the other things don't. Another thing that might be causing you an issue is if you have a Wacom tablet and you have the pressure sensitivity turned on, when you first start drawing, it'll be really small. And then as you press harder, it will get to the size of your, um, your image that shows there. So um, if that's the problem, you're going to have to get into your Wacom settings and adjust it there. Um, but I like mine turned on and it doesn't bother me. So it is something you can get used to pretty easily. Those are my four ways to kind of fix the problem of the fact that the cursor is sometimes not the same size as what you're drawing. So if you like this video, please click the like button and I'll see you next week on Thursday. Thanks guys.